What's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got a video uh, for you. Um, here on AFTVNews.com, they have some pictures of possibly a leaked version of the new Google TV, all right? Chromecast with Google TV, but there's been some changes that you will see and we'll talk about shortly. But it says leaked images suggest Google Nest streaming device will be a set-top box and not the Chromecast dongle. For all of y'all who may not know what that Chromecast dongle is, this was it. This was the device that they never put on sale. It's either $50 and maybe once every four or five months, they have put it on sale for a day, maybe a day and a half. And it will go down to 39 basically $40, and then right back to $50. And when you look at these other devices, when you got the Fire Stick um, on 4K, the on 4K Pro, which give you better options or cheaper price, you will see why nobody ever got or raised, you know, made videos about the Chromecast with Google TV. So let's get into it. As you see right here, a possibly a new set top box. And when you read it, it say rumors are no rumors of a new streaming device from Google to replace the aging 2020 Chromecast 4K have been kicking around for well over a year. Leaked images shared with nine to five Google suggests that the new streaming device from Google won't be a dangly pendant. So shout out to AFTV News. They actually got it from 9 to 5 Google. So when I went over to 9 to 5 Google, of course, they got the same picture, but a, another article. Back in April, uh, it said re, we revealed that Google is working on a sequel to the Chromecast with Google TV 4K from 2020. 9 to 5 Google can now report that this upcoming device will be a Google TV streamer. All right, so that might be the name of it. All right, Google TV streamer. Google is ditching the compact dongle. Again, this is it right here. All right, so they're ditching that uh, for this new supposedly set top box. All right, so it says Google is ditching the compact dongle um, form factor that plugs into your TV and remains out of sight. As seen in images shared in 9 to 5 Google, Google is aiming for a set top tabletop design that has a slanted peel shaped surface, is rather wide um, compared to other streaming devices, and unclear if it serves in any functional purpose. For example, this would be great for the ultra wide band powered tap to cast that was announced for the pistol tablet earlier this year all right and also you know just to give you some images and i'm gonna leave both of these in the description of this video all right um the the remote just looking at it and pretty much you know they just describing what they think the box will be um the remote will be a little bit longer compared to this device right here okay um, with this, I do have a couple of suggestions. Uh, first of all, I hope they don't come out with these little cheap, uh, specifications, you know, such as two gigs, 16, uh, gigs of internal space. Really when the, the, you know, on Walmart's on 4k pro came out with the three gigs of Ram 32 gigs of internal, which giving you way more than enough space that you need on a, you know, on a, on a set top box when it comes to these applications. Also, you know, the, the remote control is very, very plain. If I take you over here, this remote control is one of the worst ever. It's plain. It's ugly. It doesn't give you a vibe where you got to say, man, this is this is really, really nice. Even the Chromecast button, not the Chromecast, but the Google Assistant button, 
it's not even colorful compared to other devices such as, you know, um, the ON 4K Pro, which when you look at the remote control, you see that it at least has some colors, right? And other devices that are coming out. It, it, I just hope that this device right here just comes ready for prime time. Meaning, given us, give us the specs. It does not have to be the most powerful streaming devices, you know, such as the Nvidia Shield or some of these other devices, such as, you know, Apple TV 4K. It does not have to be that powerful. Really, when you're talking about only watching movies and TV shows and listening to music, but this is most likely the standards for right now. You got other devices from Buzz TV that done stepped their game up. And now I'm just finding out right here, you goose or you ghost, they just dropped the device, the SK1, which comes with some very, very good specs. And so, again, a streaming device doesn't have to be this powerful, but at least make it competitive. Make it like you know, make us be out there where we we sitting back and we're debating, saying, man, should I go with the new Google device or should I go with the on box? Should I go with a Fire Stick? Should I go with a TiVo Stream 4K? You know, make it competitive. Don't keep your devices at $50, $60 and expect for us to just jump on it at minimum specifications. So I hope that they're listening to individuals like myself who been around for a while now, all right? It's not how powerful the device is, but if you're going to put it out here, it has to make sense, all right? You can't be out here charging $50, $60 with minimum specifications, and now the goalpost has been raised just with this device right here and what it's capable of doing all right so shout out to AFTV news uh shout out to nine to five i would love to hear your input on this device right here i will leave both of these articles in the description uh again the set you know the goal post is raised guys it is raised and if you're going to drop a set top box it has to make sense and it has to be competitive as far as the specifications. So salute to everybody. Again, let me make myself clear. It doesn't have to be the most powerful device, but it has to be competitive when it comes to pricing and specifications. I showed the Buzz TV power station and I showed this new device because these are the stepping stone. This is what people are going to. But the average streamer don't need that, all right? This is for enthusiasts. The average person would probably go for something like this or something that's a little bit, you know, a Fire Stick, a TiVo Stream 4K, and not that $50 dongle that's 2 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of internal space. There's no way when you got a device such as the ON 4K Pro, which is on your screen. Again, I love to hear from you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up. Share this video. All right. Let people know of these new devices that are coming out. And again, I would love to hear from you. Big salute to y'all. Happy streaming. And I will see you on the next one, guys. I am out. Peace.